first, that breaking news, a train derailment, Long Island Railroad here in Brooklyn derailed, crash into the station, at least a dozen people injured. Let's go right to ABC's Eva Pilgrim on the scene right now. Good morning, Eva. George, streets here are blocked out as emergency responders tend to the more than 70 people that the fire department is reporting are injured at this hour. All people just trying to get to work this morning. The packed commuter train barreled into the New York City station during the height of rush hour. Witnesses said it appeared to speed up when it should have been coming to a stop, careening off the track and onto the platform. It was just terrible. Like, and you just see people crying, you hear people screaming, then they said it started smoking. Passengers inside the train thrown against windows and doors, some winding up on the floor. Before you knew it, it was just the impact and people were like flying and there's some people that um, the last two, like the last rear cars of the train don't platform at Atlantic Terminal. So there are people that are walking forward while the train was in motion and the impact came. Myself, I was sitting down and like my face went into um, the chair in front of me, my knees went in and you know, it was just very scary. Emergency personnel racing to the scene to tend to the at least 70 wounded. My back is hurting. A, a lot of people I ride with, it's their backs, their legs. It's just, it was, it was a real, it was like, it was unbelievable. Several of those waiting for the train said they heard a loud boom. The times that we live in, when you hear a boom and a crash, you know, you automatically start thinking the worst. Like, is someone attacking us? Like, hey, you didn't know what to think. And George, we have heard that the Federal Railroad Administration is on route, in route to this scene. We'll hear more from them later today. George. Thank you, Eva. Now to the Trump transition. In New York today, the morning commute turned into chaos. A rush hour train carrying nearly 500 people crashed into a busy Brooklyn station, throwing passengers around onto the floor and into each other. The CBC's Stephen D'Souza reports from New York. Passengers wheeled out on stretchers, others clutching ice packs or bloodied bandages to their heads. The sidewalk outside Brooklyn's busy Atlantic Terminal looked more like an emergency room than train station. There was no warning of any sort. It seemed like a regular morning coming into Atlantic Terminal until it looked, it, it felt like the train jumped the tracks, but it, it did more than that. It just ran through the end of the line. Passenger video shows the aftermath inside the station, one of the busiest in the city. Photos show the mess inside the cars after the train failed to stop, plowing through the bumper at the end of the line. I just remember like a just book, boom, like, and just like the train just went whoo, and it just, people fell out their seats, people fell in the aisles, people just, was, we was literally knocked out our seats. It was total chaos. There was smoke on the train and, you know, we were just like sitting there in shock. The train also smashed into an employee break room on the platform. A, uh, a rail actually pierced the bottom of the train. Uh, we're actually fortunate we didn't have more severe injuries. More than 100 were injured, the most serious believed to be a broken leg. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating, and officials say the train didn't appear to be speeding. What happened with the operator, we don't know, and obviously there'll be an investigation. Uh, to find out exactly uh, what happened and why the operator didn't stop the train before it hit the bumping block. The derailment is similar to a crash in Hoboken, New Jersey in September. That accident killed one, injured more than 100, and caused extensive damage to the station. If you need help, let me know. But officials say today's crash was minor in comparison. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.